<laughs> I'm filming here. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to know who Charles Baudelaire is? No. Uh, how about Harry Carey? Yeah. Yeah, who's Harry Carey? He's the sportscaster for the Cubs. Awesome. Thank you very much, sir. You good? <laughs> Okay. Is that on? Yeah. Right. Uh, do you happen to know who Charles Baudelaire is? Oh, that sounds familiar. Yeah. Uh, how about uh, Harry Carey? Yeah. Yeah. Who's Harry Carey? Harry Carey? Yeah. He's some type of... I mean, a sports announcer. Yeah, he was. That's Very correct. Good. Well, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, do you happen to know who Charles Baudelaire is? No. How about uh, Harry Carey? I've heard both those names, but I don't know who they are. Okay, great. Thanks okay. a lot. Appreciate Thanks. it. Kerry was a sports announcer for the Cubs or something like that. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I thought that one first guy was it had something to do with literature. Yeah, yeah. And I thought the other guy was like a match for Yeah, cool. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, it, Harry Kerry was... Oh yeah, there's another guy named Harry Kerry who was like Charles Manson or something. Yeah, something yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Nick, dude, we got an interview. Come on. Oh, Nick! I Nick. love it. Nick, we got an interview. Uh, caps on, dude. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you guys happen to know who Charles Baudelaire is? Never heard of him. <laughs> How about uh, Harry Carey? Oh, hi, everybody. You ever play with one of these rascals? I call mine Sam the Rubik's Cube. Well, you're not here for my Sammy. You're here for Harry Carey's Poetry Jam. Now we have a special guest, Charles Baudelaire. I hear he's kind of quirky and loud and obnoxious. I hope I can handle him. Well, maybe you can. We'll see you later. I gotta get back to Sammy. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Harry Carey's Poetry Jam. Today, our guest will be Charles Ulysses S. Grant? I didn't know- No! I am Charles Baudelaire, the poet! Poetry? That makes sense, this is the poetry jam. Yes, poetry. You don't look like Charles Baudelaire, you look like Ulysses S. Grant, or Luigi from the Mario Brothers. Hmm, Luigi. What is that? Oh, well, sign me the Rubik's Cube. It's a fun game I play. I got bored in the shower once and I, I decided to make a whole bar of soap into a Rubik's Cube. So I had fun for hours straight, rubbing my body with the Rubik's Cube. It was a blast. I noticed you have a mustache. I used to have a mustache once, riding around my backyard, galloping around, chasing the kittens. You mean uh, the Mustang, the horse? I, yes. A beautiful horse. It's so beautiful. It's black, move down through the hills, then it die. It's so pretty, it taste, and some hearts, and got spill out. And to rage and through beauty. You sure are the master of the dark poetry. I am. Hi! How do you like my river scene? It's very poetic. It's, it's, it's beautiful. If there were some dead bodies around here, I'd like more. I'd like much more. And uh, maybe you have some heads hanging from the trees, a dark sky, a big demon coming down, and go da da da. Then, then, then I'd like more. But uh, it's. it's mm -hmm. I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. Me and my friends just go rafting and camping out there every weekend. Hi! Who are you? I'm Charles Baudet, the poet. Everyone knows who I am. The poetry? Yeah. Like on the movie screens? I don't know. Never seen a movie screen before. I heard you die once. Everyone dies. Everybody? Yes. Like if you had a friend named Cliff, and you took him out, would you jump off of him? I'm so confused right now. You know the old Charles's tale. I think I will go shoot myself. There is no point in living with a man as stupid as you ever present in this world. I will die for the second time. Twice and once? I don't know. Well, I guess he had to go write some poetry. And he left my door open. Well, next week we'll have William Shakespeare. He's a fine young man. Well, see you later, folks. <laughs>